Thank you. Hi. Uh, yes. Thank you very much for all of your service to war in the military. Thank you very much, guys, ladies. Uh, let's do a uh, shake. All right. So, here's the scenario. So, both on the knees. Shake. And the shake. Foot goes up. Okay. So, here I get head control here. From here, here, here. And what I did was is that, let's say I was sneaky enough to get my arm off here. I'm pushing shake, and then and he rolls away from me here. Okay, and he's facing away. Come back here. Okay, so whether I take him down from that type of, on the knee type of situation, or he's facing into me here, and then I kind of give him a little bit of space here, and he rolled away from me here. Rolled away a little bit here and I got him into this position here. I do not want to give him the postal grip, okay? I have the underhook right here. That right there, I still have the underhook so I control, okay? So what happens here is that if I start walking it down this way here, and maybe fish and grab Shade's wrist here, walk your feet back that way, okay? I can potentially, what I like to do is this. If you can fish that arm, it's similar to grabbing this collar, okay? So if his arm is anywhere up here, bring your elbows in, because you guys gotta make it a little bit realistic, because if you're just laying there with the arms out and all that kind of stuff. Just trying to let you explain. No, it's just fine. But from here, as I'm rolling forward, you see his arm is here, I'll grab that hand, and I have a good control here. Because from here, it's potential arm lock set, okay? But I'm gonna go for something a little bit more more fun because I don't have lapels or anything like that. So let's make a lapel out of his arm, okay? From here, I'm gonna go to an S mount. I'm gonna drive him forward with my chest here. Pop that elbow up. Left knee goes to the back of the neck. Go here, okay? Now from here, okay? I wanna get a good control here. Because first thing what you're gonna do is, look, it's a basically a figure four control, okay? What I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna hip into him, I'm gonna lift him up off the mat, straighten out my arms. Maybe have that finish. Is that finish, yeah? Okay, this is, uh, not great. But, but here, it may work here. See, it doesn't work as well. Pull him up into the hip, and then. You can just posture up in there instead of using your arms, like if you have your arms locked. Yeah, what, what, what I'm doing is, is that my, my hip, or my, yeah, my right, lower glutamus hip or whatever Bernie would call that area there. I'm, I'm, I'm connecting him, so I'm keeping him down. So I'm driving that into him and I'm pulling him up. So bends him at the rib as my elbows are coming together and he's just getting stuck in this V right here that's closing him up. Okay, let's go over the right. So basically what you're gonna do is pull it and you lift your head that way. Up. On your left side, just go down. Point your feet to that wall. Alright, I'm gonna get an S mount here, okay? And I have his arm here, okay? Oftentimes they call this the Hickson, okay? Because here was a good way to just beat the hell out of the bottom person, they can't really do much, okay? So back in those days, but here I push that arm forward, grab my wrist here, and I have his wrist palm here, okay? Same thing. From here, my weight is on him. I settle my weight, but I posture up so I lift his head up, and then I'm just gonna straight down my arms and just kind of like a choke. Because from here, remember, <clears throat> I can bring this over, and I have an arm lock waiting for me here, okay? So you have the frame, okay? Because you're here, your left hand has the wrist palm, but here I'm using my thumb, okay? Second my hand connects, I remove that thumb, because that thumb is gonna get in the way. I pull him up into my hip, straight out my arms, and tap, loop that over, frame his head. As I slide down, I pull his elbow to my shoulder. I mean, pull his elbow to my chest, so his shoulder's being attacked here as my feet are wide, as now I am folded. And see my feet are wide, because I need to control him here and finish that off. So you're going to go into that double attack. Okay. You watch? Uh, Mike, come here. 
Guys with bigger shoulders, this works good on. Sometimes skinnier guys, this doesn't work on. Some, some submissions don't work on certain body types. I remember I had this 14 year old like orange belt and you get him in a triangle and he's such a skinny neck and arm, he just wouldn't tap the triangles. So you had to walk his arm out and he wouldn't tap to that until it's like bending off. So well, what are you doing? Okay. Look, I fed that hand here. Look, I had thumb. I had thumb just to control it. I pushed it out, right hand through, same thing. And I removed the thumbs. From here, I'm sitting on him, and now from here, kind of like wedging in his neck, and I'm gonna straighten it out. And I'm gonna hip in at him, and okay. Is that actually a choke, or is it, are you stretching the neck? No, it's a choke. If I, if I don't pull him up off the mat, it's harder to finish. If I roll my hip in him, pull him off the mat, and squeeze, it's a combination, because there's just a lot more connection here. So what you're gonna do is- And he's sitting on me too. And so I'm, like, I'm, si I'm sitting on him and I roll my hip into him, pull him off the mat so he's all twisted up. Finish, there we go. Loop it over here, just controlling his head, okay? And here, as I sit back, look, I'm crunching forward, I pull that elbow to my shoulder, because here, I'm attacking his shoulder. I'm gonna pull his elbow to my chest because I'm attacking his shoulder. Because arm locks are way worse when you finish him like this so that you unfold it with your hips under the shoulder versus right here, okay? Where now it's elbow to elbow, okay? So one more time. So let's say whether you started back here and you fed it through and you drove him forward, elbow, and you sit here, I'm going to sit, hip, pull him up off the mat, and I'm going to straighten out my arms and elbows come together, okay? From here, I'm going to frame it, okay? This is just framing his head here. As I sit on him, my left leg comes around the head, and I'm gonna drop my butt to the floor, and his elbow comes to my chest, right here. And then I unfold, and hips up. Here it's even better, like, like this. That's way better than this. Okay, so this right here, when I control his head, similar to what we do with that Kimura, where you put the knee on the face, and you roll the knee on the face. Okay, ready guys, one, two, three. <laughs> Try it. And then we'll go into something more fun than Maria experienced the other day from Jen. <laughs>